Ben here from Wholesale Solar, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Power Center. I'm standing here in our warehouse located in Mount Shasta, California, where we design, build, and test many of our customers' power centers. Like the human body with all the organs working in tandem, the pre-assembled power center connects all the necessary components into a single, easy to install unit. But instead of the heart, liver, and lungs, the power center is made up of inverters, charge controllers, circuit breakers, and more. Let's take a look inside one of these rigs so we can check out the different components. Let's go. So now that we've removed the cover, we can see the wiring for the inverter. Inverters are the heart of the system. The core function of the inverter is to take the battery storage DC or direct current and convert it into AC or alternating current, which is what your home and business uses to power appliances and devices. All the inverters we recommend produce a pure sine wave which produces clean power, similar to what you would get from the power grid. This ensures devices like TVs, refrigerators, and computers run at an optimal efficiency without static or interference. Here are some of the inverters we offer as pre-wired power centers. The Schneider Electric Power Center has several models we recommend, the XW and the SW models. Both provide 120 and 240 volt AC output capabilities, which means it will handle all your typical home appliances and devices. The XW model is recommended for big applications and is featured as a hybrid inverter that works both on and off the grid. Having the grid tied capability might make sense for someone planning to connect to the grid at a later date or someone connected to the grid who wants battery backup. For smaller or mid-sized off-grid applications, we recommend the SW model because it is going to be the best value. Snyder inverters are also known to have impressive surge capacity, which is necessary for powering certain appliances like pumps and motors, but all inverters recommended in this video can handle relatively high surges. With Snyder inverters, you can add the Combox or Gateway add-ons, which allow for remote monitoring and system management giving you the ability to view system performance and even changing the settings remotely from any internet connected device. The Outback Radian and FXR and VFXR inverter power centers. While the Radian can output both 120 and 240 volt AC, the FXR and VFXR models only output 120 volt AC. These hybrid inverters work both on and off the grid, similar to the Snyder's XW model. The Optics RE built-in monitoring can send alerts and allow remote monitoring and system management. The Magnum Energy MS and MSPAE off-grid inverters are available in the 120 volts AC and the 120 240 volts AC. They come in a range of different sizes for mobile and marine applications, but can also be used in home business applications as well. Magnum offers its Mag Web Monitoring Kit, which allows for remote viewing of the system's performance. However, it's a little limited in that it doesn't allow you to update settings or send alerts like some of the other inverters we cover in this video. We recommend Outback or Schneider if you're looking for the ability to remotely change settings. Charge controllers are another critical component in all off-grid systems. Its core function is to regulate the solar energy coming from the solar panels. More specifically, it helps to maximize efficiency by keeping your batteries at a healthy charge. Too much or too little charge from the solar panels can damage or degrade your battery's lifespan. Like a gatekeeper, the charge controller oversees how solar energy is delivered to your batteries for storage. Charge controllers also include additional safety features that meet code. Remote control and network hub. I group these components together because they act like the brain and nervous system, making sure the off-grid system communicates and functions effectively between the different components. All the inverters we covered need some type of remote control for the system setup. Remote controls offer the ability to dial in the required charge settings, help you identify faults, and give an overview of your system status. Circuit breakers are essential for the safety, serviceability, and are required to ensure everything meets code. A charge controller will have DC output 
and output breakers, whereas an inverter will have AC input and output breakers plus a DC battery breaker. This is to protect the inverter from short circuits and overloads from your battery bank, load panel, and the generator. None of the manufacturers build the overcurrent protection into the inverters or controllers, so it has to be added separately. Battery monitors allow the end user to keep tabs on their battery bank charge. Think of it like a car's fuel gauge, which lets you know how much gas is available, or in this case, your battery bank's state of charge. This is important for a couple of reasons. First, if you are using lead-acid batteries for your energy storage, you're going to want to keep your battery charge above 50% and regularly fully charge at 100% to get the most lifespan out of your battery bank. Battery monitors provide the following feedback. Maximum and minimum DC voltage. Last time 100% charge was reached. Current state of charge. And they can be especially helpful when you need to troubleshoot. The Schneider Outback and Magnum inverters use shunt-based battery monitors, which are installed on the DC negative wire. For inverters that don't offer a battery monitor, third-party battery monitors can be used from Victron Energy or other companies. A surge protector provides additional protection from power surges by clamping the voltage induced by nearby lightning strikes or other electrical phenomena. A well-designed and carefully deployed grounding system is necessary in order for the surge suppression to function properly. Surge suppressors are not required by code, but we recommend including a surge protector for superior protection for your investment. Automatic Generator Start, or AGS. If you're including a generator into your off-grid setup, an automatic generator start or AGS unit is a great feature to add. An AGS unit isn't necessary, but provides the convenience of automating your generator to start when the battery storage is low or turns off when it is full. This ensures you keep your lead-acid battery bank above 50% charge during long periods of insufficient sun hours, which tend to occur during the winter months. Some inverters and controllers can handle a simple two-wire generator start and stop but an AGS may be easier to configure and may be required for certain generators. So just to recap, the power center combines AC and DC breakers, inverter, remote, and battery monitoring into one nicely packaged unit. We build our own in-house solutions and partner with vetted manufacturers to provide optimal power center solutions. I know we've covered a lot in this video series, and depending on your technical background, some of this may feel familiar, and for others, it may feel overwhelming. Whatever side of the coin you fall on, wholesale solar power centers can save you thousands of dollars and countless hours. Let our off-grid power centers do the heavy lifting for you, so you can be up and running faster, smoother, and with the peace of mind you get from our free lifetime support. If you have specific customization requirements, or just have some questions about your off-grid project, give us a call. We'd be happy to help.